Um, so these are three things that, uh, that I want to recommend to those of you who are trying to create a video, whether it's a live video or whether it's a video that you record, edit, and then post. Um, video is definitely the future. It's here to stay and it's going to be here for a while. Okay, so first thing, I'll write it. I'll write it over here on the side. Thing number one is lighting. There's a bunch of different things that apply to light. There are many ways to light your scene or wherever you're at. You have key light, hair light, fill light, accent light, ambient light, and many ways to shape it. And some of the ways to shape it are bounce, reflect, diffuse, and um, box out. Well, I call it box out. It basically means you block the light. But I want to keep it real simple with you guys. If especially if you're new to video, you're like, what are you talking about? Real, real simple. I want to just draw this out for you. So this is if you're standing in a room, right? Say wherever you're at. And then um, say you have like a window and then a lot of light is coming from that window. Right. Um, there's something that I call the 180 degree rule. Let's say you have like a light. Right. So there's like a light in the middle of the room. And then the door is over here. This is actually how my room's set up. I usually turn my light off um, and I have different lights, right? The 180 degree rule says this. This is, say this is you. You're standing there, right? These are your shoulders. And this is, pretend there's a circle on the floor uh, below you, right? And so the 180 degrees that are in front of you, so this is front, those are your eyeballs, you're looking forward. The 180 degrees in front, and these are the 180 degrees behind you, right? So um, this is behind you, this is in front of you. In the front of you, you want to be all soft light. And behind you, you want it to be all hard light it's mostly because um, it's easier on the eyes to see soft light on the main subject and a lot of times like out in nature the sun is usually coming from a different angle um, so when the sun is directly on somebody it's harder on your eyes the shadows are a lot harder but if the sun is behind you it gives you a really cool uh, outline effect so i have these two lights here and i actually have uh blue and orange or teal and orange it's a typical look that people go for it mimics a sunset and the sunset to the natural eye is also a thing that you're drawn to by nature right because sunsets are absolutely beautiful so you want to use all soft light in the front and all hard light and behind the person right so right here uh, this is my room and uh, my dilemma is that i have a big window where the sun comes in the sun so you have a hard so this is a hard light hard light and this is also uh, this is actually more of a softer light window light is usually softer so what I would have to do is face the window if I was in my room I'd have to face the window and have the hard light behind me uh, in some some sort of format that way right but what I opted to do was I blocked out I blocked it out the sunlight on the window then i have my desk right here and i have a big soft box right here on a tripod and so that brings soft light on me so i'm sitting right here on a chair and i have a hard light here on a tripod and a hard light here this is actually a can light so this is uh, pointing to my background, only my background. Um, so it does bounce off my background and it does hit me here. So I have a soft light at the T. And that way I'm following the 80 degree rule. So if I'm facing this way, I'm facing forward, I have all the hard light behind me, boom, right here, and all the soft light in front of me. Now, the way you figure that out is on you so you can do this with like um if you don't have like different lights or softbox you can do this with lamps but um what you want to do is uh either bounce or diffuse a light so usually you can use a blanket um, so if you have a really hard lamp or a really bright light bulb you can use maybe like a blanket you want to soften the light that's in front of you and then the light behind you you can even just take the lampshade completely off and it could be just hard light 
um, but you don't want it facing the camera because then you get some weird haze and glare and stuff like that. Here's the second thing. Uh, be sure to separate yourself from your background. Um, this will be a lot quicker. This means use contrasting colors from yourself and what's behind you. Um, another thing is do this in like your kitchen or your bedroom or something and you have stuff around you. Just clean it up. Make it as crisp and clean as possible because your eye will not be able to focus on you. And then number three, tip number three real quick is get a good angle. You're gonna put your camera somewhere if you have a tripod that actually works best, but put yourself somewhere in your frame where the things around you will lead your eye to yourself right uh, number one was lighting make sure you get a, uh, all your soft light in front all your hard light in the back number two was separating yourself from your background don't have too much clutter have something clean um, if your background is too close to you that's also going to be distracting uh, because the light will completely it'll just cast a hard shadow now sometimes that works but it's hard to get the soft light in front and hard light behind you and then number three was make sure to get a good angle so that was it i hope that helped you guys out if you have any questions please post them down below because i do this for a living and it's it's uh, i love it it's so much fun it's such a huge blessing um, but uh, even with the quarantine, there's three ways that we can work together. Um, the first one is we have a, a studio available at the agency. We can record something there. We sanitize it. We stay six feet away. The second way we can work together is I can edit the footage that you record. So you set yourself up at your home or your place and you record yourself and you can send it to me and we can, and uh, we can work together to get your video edited and the third way is you could record and edit your own footage but i can add uh logo motion or text motion or transition motions um and just spice up your video a little bit more that was it thanks guys for watching all the way through god bless and be safe out there